Hey guys, and welcome back to Audit Watch, the best place to find your favorite police interactions on the internet. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy and subscribe if you are new around here. But anyways, let's get straight into today's episode. I was just taking pictures. Okay. And video. Well, the, you know this is private property, right? Okay. And video. Well, the, you know this is private property, right? It's private? This clip is brought to us by Convoy Action Network. Be sure to check out their channel through the link in the description and don't forget to subscribe to their channel while you're there. The clip starts off at a public safety center. The cop says that the public center is private. Yes, he said that the public center was private. The cop then thinks that the man being there isn't due to proper business. This is the early days of the man starting to audit places, so he properly is holding back on what he is saying to the cop. Watch the full clip next. I'm well, how are you? I'm good. What can we help you with? Oh, no, I'm just taking pictures and taking a video. Uh huh? Just, just the building. Just the building? Yes, sir. You mind if I ask for what reason? Uh, just, just personal reason. Uh, personal reason? Yes, sir. Okay. You making a movie or? Uh, kind of like a little story, yes, sir. Okay. All right. You from around here? Uh, uh not going to ask any questions, sir. Not going to answer the questions? No, sir. Okay. I was just taking pictures. Okay. And video. Well, the, you know this is private property, right? Okay. And video. Well, the, you know this is private property, right? It's private? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. I mean, if you're conducting some sort of business, obviously with the city, you know, going into inspections, getting building permits, trying to bond somebody out of jail, you have a court case. Something. I was going to go uh, do some public records requests. Okay. But I, I was, changed my mind. I was just going to come back tomorrow and do it. Okay. Yeah. Why not today? I don't have time. And then my battery's running out. I wanted to document everything I was going to do. Okay. What kind of public request are you doing? Uh, you looking for something specific? Just salaries and... Well, that wouldn't be handled here anyway. Okay, okay. You'd have to go up to our human resources department up that... at the main city hall. The city hall? Okay. And all that. And your name and your badge number? Uh, I don't have a badge number, but my name is Officer Cutcliffe. Okay. Okay. Is that your name? I'm not going to give my name, sir. Okay. Okay, I want to, I, you can ask for my name, but you won't give me your name out of the kindness of friendship. I'll give you my stuff. first name. Yes. Okay. I appreciate you coming out here checking on me. Well, look, I mean, you have to understand, this is a secure building, so there shows some concern because there's some federal buildings that are uh, entities that, that reside in this building. Okay, and you're saying this is private property? Once you get past a certain point where you were, okay, like I said, if you have business here, mm -hmm. um, you know, there, there's really no reason to be here unless there's some sort of business you're conducting. I'm, I am. I'm conducting um, business. And, you know, it, it would be like me walking around your house and, and me filming your house. That's that's private, though, sir. It's what? That's private property. My, my house would be well, private property. Well, in certain aspects. Just okay. like you're saying that you can film all of this uh -huh. um, from, from a public parking lot because you have access to it. I can stand on the street in front of your house all day long. Yeah, no, on the street, yeah. And walk around the perimeter of your property. Exactly. And, and film everything, you, your family, and all, and all that kind of stuff. All right. Uh -huh. So, uh, again, yeah, you know, have no problem with you being here. Okay. Um, can't say that I really understand why you're filming the building and stuff. But, you know what, if that's what you want to do, help yourself. Okay. But... You need to make sure you understand that there's certain areas that yeah, are restricted. restricted areas, yeah. And if you don't have a legitimate reason, mm -hmm. business-wise, for being here, um, then then you probably don't have. Uh, is there anything don't... that we can do for you? Oh no. Okay. I'm good. Do you need a ride anywhere? No, I don't. I don't. What's your name and badge number, sir? I've oh, already sorry. I've already told you we don't have badge numbers here, sir. This clip makes his first mistake when he says that the public building is private and the man can't record there. This is clear misinformation from the cop. The man recording acknowledges that he was a bit nervous, so he did hold back a bit in what he said and could have potentially said the wrong things at times that he would say differently now. This cop has the worst examples and compares this to recording inside of the man's personal house. This is nothing like that at all. Then the cop goes on to say that he has no problem in him being there, but if it was private, surely he would have a problem. So has he just admitted to lying to the man and hoping that he didn't know? Hey, 
I'm not moving. Don't, don't I'm moving. Your, don't I'm moving. This is public. Call the police. Okay? I know. Five minutes, ten minutes, okay. okay. Yeah, I could take the picture. What I'm doing. This video is brought to us by Silence Boy First Amendment. Be sure to subscribe to their channel and to find it, go to the link in the description. The video begins with a man filming a restaurant from the public sidewalk. It is the restaurant's job to create its own policy if they wish to have it to prevent people from doing things, such as closing the blinds as they do at the end of this clip. A security guard shows up with pepper spray in their hand trying to intimidate the man. He starts calling the cops but then gives up. Watch the full clip to see the security do the walk of shame. This is a public sidewalk. How are you going to violate someone's people? Look, they're all over there. The, um, nothing. I'm in public, everyone. <laughs> I'll keep you updated. There's one over there. I see it. Don't get that picture here. I could do this, sir. No, they, they don't want the, they, they I could do, picture. sir. Okay? okay go Why are you taking that? Okay, no, I'm not moving. Don't, don't I'm moving. Picture. I'm don't moving. This is public. Call the police. Okay? I know. Five minutes, ten minutes, okay. okay. Yeah, I could take the picture. What I'm doing here, I could do it. No. Okay? You no. call the police, you're not authority. You're just a security guard. Okay, you can move up. No. Move. No, no. No, no. Move. Okay? Move. How long gonna pick take a picture here? One hour. Why? Because I can, that's why. No, they own it, they don't, they don't want a picture. That's just public sidewalk. Are you crazy? No. You're crazy? No, they don't want a <laughs> Oh. Oh. They don't want a picture here. So that's not my problem. I'm in the public. I'm not inside there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a bear spray like he's gonna do something. <laughs> yeah, look at this wave, everyone. I got a clear image of this guy here. Yeah, clear image of this guy. Clear image, oh look the clothing man! <laughs> ah, that's what they're supposed to do. <laughs> you see, they closed it already. They're supposed to do everyone. They're supposed to do that. That's easy. <laughs> I wonder if this guy throws people pepper spray mm -hmm. everyone. But it did the walk of shame, that's what it matters everyone. <laughs> Nobody's gonna show up for this guys, everyone. <laughs> you don't own the sidewalk. You're crazy. Even police can't do anything about it, sir. You're so misinformed, it's so sad. <laughs> I have to say, I think having the pepper spray was a bit over the top. The man was literally just recording from the public sidewalk to bring that just for this is not needed. Then he goes to call the police all for this tiny matter and appears to be on the phone for a while and does the inevitable walk of shame. Anyway, this man does not look fit to be a security guard and I could see why he relies on his pepper spray because it is misleading. I told with the manager, uh, manager, yeah. manager okay? Okay, who is the manager here Both today? Again. So you have the right to yeah, yeah. go to the inside and record. Who's the manager here today? This clip is brought to us by Liberty Troll. Be sure to check out their channel through the link in the description. Make sure you subscribe to them while you're there. A big shout out to Zach. The clip starts off with Zach at the Orange County Tax Collections office. Zach spots an unlawful sign while he's recording. The sign said about how you can't record. Zach then speaks to a security guard and he clears things up with Zach. And you won't believe what the security guard does next to the sign, so watch the full clip to find out at the end. Another Orange County tax collector's office. For any kind of, ah, uh, they do have a sign here. 
I found your illegal sign. No filming, video recording, or photography beyond this point. Obviously, we're not going to uh, abide by that. We will actually uh, defy it because uh, it's a violation of our rights. What was that? Uh, for my own purposes. Just taking pictures and video. No? Actually, if it's a government, it's public. That's why I'm, that's why I'm taking pictures. That's not how rights work. Yeah, this is a right. Yeah. Thank you. Is there a, is there a manager here that has authority over that sign? That's right behind this poster right here that I'd be able to talk to you about that. About the, the sign? No, the, yeah, this. <laughs> this sign right there. Oh, no, you're good, bro. This sign is old. It's an old sign? So okay. you, have the, uh, you have the right for holding the inside? Yeah, yeah. Or only one favor. I so you record me. Uh, yeah, I'll make it obvious. <laughs> don't zoom uh, the computer for maybe you see personal the, information. The personal information. Yeah. So you go to the other side, go to the other side in the lobby. Yeah. It's yours. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any complaint. Yeah, do you mind if I, uh, that's an old sign then, right? Do you mind if I tear it off? Yeah, so don't pay attention. Uh, can, I, can I tear it off? Because it is misleading. I told with the manager, uh, manager, yeah. manager okay? Okay, who is the manager here Both today? Again. So you have the right to yeah, yeah. go to the inside and record it. Who's the manager here today? Um, I just want to make sure the sign's taken down before I leave, because that could be, you know, think about it. If somebody were to come here and like, um, you know, get arrested for, you know, for, for okay. exercising, right? Um, that could create a lawsuit. Yeah. Uh, I think I saw the security guard take it off. Let me see. I'm sorry, nice, buddy. brother. Thank you. Okay, you're good. All right. Thank you. Hey, man. How's it going? Good. You probably saw me around. I'm filming. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I noticed when I came in, there was a, there was an illegal sign mm -hmm. that said no photography, no recording. Yeah. He took it down. Um, thank you so much, you're sir. Um, so I just wanted to confirm that that's not going to be put back up. No, it will not be. Okay, cool. Our director has given us authorization to remove yeah. them. As okay. As well as, of course, Jorge here removed them. Okay, like today or? Yeah, yeah, they're already taken down. Correct, Jorge? Yeah. Okay. No, I saw one that I took down and you got a couple. Okay, so yeah. this just happened today then? Like, were they were given that authorization or is this before I came here? This was given today. Oh, it was? Okay. Probably has something to do with me going to another uh, DMV. So. Well, to be honest with you, we didn't even know the signs were still there. I'm new to this. Office. It was behind another big sign. So you guys, yeah. I can understand why you probably missed it. But uh, what was yeah. your name? My name is Johnny. Johnny, I'm Zach. You know, what was your name, sir? All right, George. Wow, this is the first time I have ever seen a security guard act straight away on a sign mistake and take it down. The security guard deserves some recognition for his quick actions. Not only this, but he also cleared things up with Zach prior to this. The security guard was amazing. I'm not sure why they had it up in the first place though. If the security was that inclined to take it down, they really mustn't have cared that much if people did record in the first place then. Well, I guess all that matters now is that they took it down and it's not there anymore. Who's this guy? What's your name and badge number? This video is brought to us by Lemmy Audit You. A big shout out to Lenny. Be sure to subscribe to his channel and to find it, go to the link in the description. The video begins with a mix of employees and customers going crazy over Lenny recording from a sidewalk. Yes, you heard that correctly, just for recording from the sidewalk. The police are called and the cop who shows up is great and expresses that Lenny isn't breaking any laws. He also speaks to another female cop at the end and their conversation is hilarious. Watch a clip to find out what is said. Okay, now it's recording. It wasn't even recording. Oh. Well, now, hey, now we go. <laughs> I accidentally hit the stop button. Next time, I'll just use the fake camera. Let's see, car number five. Who's this guy? What's your name and badge number? I'm Officer Carpenter with the Coyote Falls Police Department. My badge number is 7834. Who's this? That's uh, my partner, Officer Centron. Her badge number is 7835. 
We got a call that someone thought you were suspicious, so we just want to come out and talk to you and make sure everything's okay. That's interesting. Is everybody treating you okay over here? Nope. Why not? Well, they're all harassing me and yelling things, and, and uh, the guy in that gray van that's got his reverse lights on uh -huh. has threatened me a few times. Okay, well, you are on a public space being the sidewalk, and you are not invading anybody's uh, anybody's privacy, so... And I'm not breaking any laws whatsoever. Nope. Uh, so but, it. I know, okay. but, you know, comfort isn't a law, and, you know, then I have to tell them to point on the doll sure. where I, I, I it hurts. Words. I know, I know you didn't, I know. Believe me, if you were, if I thought you were trying to violate my rights in any way, shape, or form, I'd be all up in your telling you so. Nope, but I'm not. Uh, that's not our goal. I'm just talking with you. Our goal is because you're sure just talking with me. Okay, and keep the peace is all. Yeah. And they should know. I've been here before. They came out in droves and surrounded me on the sidewalk last time and got told to leave me alone. Right. You know. So. Do you want to identify yourself? No. Okay. Take care. Yeah. You have a good day. You as well. see anything on there we'll go check out this vehicle down here here's protect and serve Very good looking. You're a good looking officer. Thank you. Welcome. Got in trouble, okay? No. Because if anybody's going to handcuff me, it'd be you. <laughs> well, then, who would have thought that just recording from the sidewalk would get the attention of so many people to the point where they get mad and decide to record you back? Somehow the police are called for this, and luckily the cop who turns up acknowledges to Lenny that he isn't breaking any laws. This is quite obvious, but at least he wasn't a cop who tried to reason with him to not record. The chat that Lenny has with the female officer at the end is funny. He almost hits on her and flirts, and then they share a funny joke. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. Once again, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for your daily dose of police encounters.